Hello, students. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, good, good evening. Hello, teacher. Nice to see you today. Okay. Okay, how are you, students? Fine. Fine, thank you. Okay, good. Excellent. More or less. <laughs> okay, that's good. Uh, I'm really happy to see you today. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, students. Oh, yeah. Hello. Okay, I hope you are okay, students. Uh, we're gonna start with today's class. Are you ready? Good night. Yes, I'm ready. Good night. Okay, very good. Okay, let's start with today's class, students. Okay, let's see. Oh, let me check. Okay, students. Let's see. <clears throat> Okay, here we go. Okay, students, uh, good evening. We are going to continue with module number two, right? On topics for today's class, we are going to continue with simple present, right? But now we are gonna see questions. Questions. Okay, simple present questions. Okay, yesterday class and during this week, we were discussing about simple present. Simple present is when we build sentences in a simple way. For example, I am a teacher. I am a student. I like pupusas and so on, right? And you can create in the negative way, for example, I don't like pupusas, que es mentira. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, see, with the verb be, I am not a student. I am an English teacher, right? That's the simple present. Now we are gonna see question with simple present tense. Okay, uh, let's start with today objectives. Somebody who help me to read it, please. Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Thanks, Carmen. By the end of this class, you will be love skills in predictive scanning and sequencing events after reading and discussing three interviews about the schedule. Schedule, so very good, nice, good job. Okay, thanks, Carla, really good job. Okay, students, uh, at the end of this class, basically, we have to develop a skill. What is a skill? In Spanish. Skills. Habilidades. Very good. Ok, entonces vamos a desarrollar las habilidades. Predicting and scanning. Ok. What is predicting? When we expect something from the future, right? And scanning. Scanning, when we see something like this, we scan a person, right? With our eyes. <laughs> okay, that's good. Tip, tip, uh, photo, uh, picture. Uh, tip picture. Uh, what is picture? Scanning. Yeah, scanning. Yeah, it's something like that. But in this way, uh, we are going to scan something. Okay. Yeah, but it's similar. In the same way, right? Básicamente lo mismo, pero en este caso nosotros vamos a escanear o anticiparnos a una discusión en de qué puede suceder. Okay, students, before to continue with this, okay, we got a uh, warm-up activity. Did you remember that yesterday class, we had a homework? Yeah. Yeah, what was the homework? Yes. 
Okay. <laughs> Spanish, Spanish. Okay, okay, Maggie, no problem. Uh, yesterday class, la clase de ayer, we saw something related to daily routines. Vimos algo relacionado a la daily routines. Teníamos una homework, una tarea. ¿Cuál era la homework? Describe your daily routines. ¿Se recuerda? Yes. 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 Espero que la hayan hecho. Sí. Yes, yes. Okay, very okay, good, students. Let's see. But before to describe your daily routine, we're going to see something really bad. Okay, I'm going to point out with my mouse here, and you have to guess. Ustedes tienen que adivinar cuál es la acción que está haciendo esta persona que voy a señalar con el puntero. ¿Les parece? Ready? Yes. Ready. Okay, okay. Yes. Ready. Get up. Okay, this one? Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. I get up. Right? I get up. Nice. Good job. Uh, what about this one? I wash Take a shower. Okay. I take a shower. Really good. Take a shower, right? Okay. What about this one? Mm, address. <laughs> okay. I get dressed. I wear. Yes, delicious. No. <laughs> Brush the, the teeth. Okay. Very good. You I get dressed. Okay, nice. I get dressed. I get dressed. I get dressed. Okay, very good. With a T at the end of dressed. I get dressed. Okay, very good. Maggie, what about this one? Um, I have breakfast. I, I have dinner. Okay, very good. Dinner, breakfast, very good. In this case, it's breakfast. What is breakfast? Breakfast, almuerzo. Desayuno. Desayuno. Yeah, desayuno. Breakfast, desayuno, almuerzo sería lunch. 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 Dinner. 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 Okay, that's good. Okay, I have breakfast. What about this one? I go to work. They go to work. Very good. I go to work. Really nice. Okay. This one? Mm, working. Um, I, I, I work. I finish. Work. I start work. Okay. Very good. Finish I, work. I, I start work. At I the time that you start, right? A la hora que ustedes inician. Acá solo le pone at y luego la hora. For example, si ustedes eh, trabajan a las 7 de la mañana, a esa hora empiezo, I start work at 9 o'clock. 7. 7 o'clock. Nice. Good job. Okay, students, uh, let's continue with this. We have this. What is this one? I have lunch. I have lunch. Okay, very good. I have lunch. Good job. This one? I finish work. I finish work. You see this man face? <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> when we finish our work, we feel like, yeah, right? Uh -huh. okay, today's work. Very good. I finish work. I finish work. Okay, what about this one? I go, I go home. Home. I go my house. Home. I go home. I go home. I go my house. Okay, that's good. That's the idea, right? It's cool. Esa es la idea. Pero en este caso es como que usted ya, the, the other way around, en la otra forma, usted ya regresó. Regresó o ya vino a casa. Ya llegó a casa. I come home. Return to home. Okay, very good. Nice. Okay, todas las que han dicho son correctas, but in this case we're going to use I arrive home. Arrive home. Arrive. Arrivo a su casa. Okay, es como arribó o llegó. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, please repeat this word, arrive. 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 Okay. Arrive. Okay. Arrive. Arrive. Okay, nice. Good job. Okay, so uh, let's see. We got this B. B. 
Okay, me voy a acercar acá a la cámara. Okay, when we have this, this uh, letter, vamos a poner la, la labia debajo de nuestro diente. D. I cry. I cry. I cry. I cry. Okay. ¿Por qué? Porque si no lo hacemos así, vamos a decir otro sonido. Por ejemplo, digan vacaciones en inglés. Vacation. Vacation. Ok, ahora digan lo mismo poniendo la primera palabra, el labio acá. Vacation. 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 Vacation
I, I finish work. work. I finish work. I arrive home. I arrive, I arrive home. home. I arrive home. I have dinner. I have, I have dinner. dinner. I watch TV. I, I watch, watch TV. TV. I go to bed. I I go to, go bed. to bed. Okay, excellent work, students. Eh, as you see, this is basically a daily routine. Básicamente, esta es una rutina diaria. As, as last word, we're going to say vacación. Digan vacación. Quiero escuchar. Vacación. Vacation. Remember, the tips in pronunciation is the position of the tips. Vacation. vacation. Para los que acaban de ingresar, cuando teníamos esta V, esa palabra, vamos a poner nuestro labio abajo de los dientes de arriba. Like this. Si vamos a decir vacación en inglés es vacation. Okay. Okay, students. Uh, we got the topic, simple present questions. Question, right? Okay. Uh, lesson objective, we saw already. Ya lo vimos. Así que, we're going to see to this really important part. It is useful sentences. What is useful? Putin. Putin. Okay, very good. Okay, we got a schedule. What is a schedule? Horario. Horario. Hey, very nice. Good job. Horario. Good. Then. Then. Después. Luego. Luego. Okay, nice. Luego, después. Todo eso significa. Muy bien. Then. This is a connection word, by the way. Eh, a propósito, este es una, un conector. For example, mm -hmm. I get up at 5 a.m. Then, I take a shower. Y así sucesivamente usted explica su daily routine. Very good. Okay. Then we have this one. Say it in English. Quiero describirme. Okay. Very good. In English. I, I want, want to describe, to describe, I describe, describe my, my, describe me. For example, my, I want to describe my, my daily routine. My, mm -hmm. like, I want to describe my. Okay. Eh, y acá agregan un complemento. ¿Qué es lo que quieren describir? For example, it could, it could be, I want to describe myself. <laughs> me quiero describir a mí mismo. Eh, y comienzo. I am like this, I am like that, and so on, right? In this case, you can use it in order to introduce your daily routine. I want to describe my daily routine. Quiero describir mi rutina diaria. Cuando les toque, decirla, right? Because that was the homework. Esa era la tarea, recuerda. <laughs> okay, really good. The last one, okay. Who wants to help me to read it? What is your schedule Friends. like? Okay, very good. What does it mean, this question? What is your horario? What is your horario? What horario do you like? Or your routine? In this case, it would be like routine. Okay, okay, very good. You get the idea, right? In this case, uh, Eduardo, I thought uh, you told me something really bad in the last class. Like. Like could be a verb or what? Yeah. In this case, likes means como. Como es tu horario. Como es tu horario. Eso quiere decir básicamente. What is your schedule like? Cuando vean like al final de una question, no es el verbo. Es significa como. ¿Sí? Okay. okay, very good. Uh, okay, students. Uh, schedule. 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 
Okay, then. 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 Okay. Then. Esta ya se la sabe. <laughs> we are going to continue with this. Okay, we got two ways of create questions. We can do it with do or does, or we can do it with WH word. What, where, when, which, why, how. Okay, let's go back. I'm going to start with this one. Eh, ya hemos entrado en este ambiente. ¿Se recuerdan que do it does, when we have at the beginning, no significa no. anything. Nothing. 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 It's an auxiliary that is telling us that is a question, right? Okay, very good. As you see here, you speak English. Es una afirmación. Ah, you speak English, students. Ustedes hablan inglés. Muy bien, por cierto. Ok. Eh, y la question, solo agrego do. Y el question mark. Do you speak English? Really, really easy. Do you speak English? Y ya es una pregunta. Right? Yeah. With does, remember that all the time we're going to use for the third person. He, she, and it. Yes? Yes. Yeah. For example, does he speak English? Habla el inglés? It's a question, right? Okay, very good. In this way, uh, don't forget that the negative way you're going to use don't. Don't. Or doesn't. Right? Okay, in this part, remember, please. Cuando vamos a hablar de la forma negativa, vamos a utilizar con do. Don't. 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 Y con don't. Does. Doesn't. 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 Very good. When this gonna happen? ¿Cuándo va a suceder esto? Por ejemplo, eh, vamos a... I'm gonna... Eh, ok. I'm gonna give some sentences and I'm going to choose some of you randomly. Voy a elegirlos al azar y eh, ustedes me dicen eh, unas questions. Ok, let me see. Ok, estamos acá, chicos. Do y does, right? Do y does. La forma, esta es para hacer una question, para el principio. But when we want to say something in negative way, we can use don't, doesn't. Pero lo vamos a decir antes o después del verbo, antes o después del pronombre. Doesn't. Uh -huh. he, don't, he don't speak English. Okay, every kid, he don't speak English, right? Or doesn't? He, he doesn't. Okay, he, he doesn't. doesn't. Very good, nice. Good job. Okay, here, what I, want, what I want you to do is the next. Que ustedes puedan formular la forma negativa fácil y rápido. Es decir, por ejemplo, acá, you speak English. En Eli, ¿cómo sería la forma negativa? The negative way. You speak English. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't speak English. Okay, very good. Nice. Good job. Thanks. Okay, uh, let me see. Saúl, perdón. Uh, si yo dijese, ella no le gusta el parque o no le gusta ir al parque. ¿Cómo lo dije ese usted? She, eh, she do, she do eh, in park. Ok, ok. More or less, but in this case, eh, Saúl. She doesn't. She doesn't. She doesn't. She doesn't. Doesn't, very good. Doesn't. She doesn't she like. 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 To go to the park. To go to the park. To go to the park. Sí, da, sí. Ok, very nice. Ok, si ustedes notan, fácilmente nosotros negamos algo con don't y doesn't. Solo tenemos que aceptarlo. El que le sigue no es verbo to be. ¿Cómo así? Go, want, and like. 
What does it mean go? Yeah. 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 Want. Querer. 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 Like. Gustar. 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 Okay. Yeah. ¿Es verbo to be estos tres? No. No. Okay. No. Cuando no es verbo to be, vamos a utilizar el auxiliar. Don't o doesn't para negar algo. Por ejemplo, este, yo no quiero eh, ir al supermercado en estos momentos. <ríe> ¿Cómo sería? En inglés. No I, I, I don't want to go to the supermarket. Ok, very good. You see, I don't want to go to the supermarket. Is it right? Uh, it's clear this part. Yes. Okay. Very good. Okay. Continue, students. Uh, we're gonna do the same with WH questions. Vamos a hacer básicamente lo mismo. Aquí solo agregamos what, where, when, which, why, how, what time. Si ustedes desean. ¿Cómo así? This is the formula, right? Esta es la fórmula básica. Ustedes, para formar una pregunta en presente simple, ponemos tú más el pronombre personal o la persona de quien estemos hablando, más el verbo, más un complemento. Ok. With WH word, con las, con las eh, WH word, lo que vamos a hacer acá solo es agregarlas al beginning. Agregarlas al principio. Ok. Por ejemplo, Where do you work? 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 Okay, where do you work? What does it mean? Where do you work? Okay, very good. When we use a WH word, we, we need to know more than something specific. Cuando usamos las WH para preguntar algo, queremos saber algo más en específico. Por ejemplo, acá un lugar, where, donde trabaja. Eh, porque también podríamos preguntar, do you work, trabaja? Uh -huh. oh, yes, I work, yes, I do, no, I don't, y así, right? Ok, but in this, but in this case, we are referring to more specific information, where. Estamos preguntando algo más específico. ¿Dónde? Un lugar. Ok, then we're going to continue with this one. Uh, who wants to help me to read it? And does he go to the mall? Very good. What does it mean? ¿Cuándo va él al, al mall? El comercial. ¿Cuándo va al super? O cuando va al super, él, ok. En este va? caso, eh, you can ask when, quiere saber cuándo va a ir. Es algo más específico, pero usted puede omitir when en ask, does he go to the mall, va él al super. Is another question, right? Entonces, lo que quiero que ustedes eh, comprendan en esta eh, clase is the next, es lo siguiente. Pueden utilizar las la do and does at the beginning para hacer preguntas o la WH word if you want a specific information. Right? Okay. Yeah. Okay, very good. For example, what time? Yesterday class we were discussing this. What time is? ¿Qué hora es? Okay, okay, okay. What time is it? Is the time, right? This, this in this part is what time? A qué horas? A qué horas tú vas a hacer algo? Entonces, eh, usted la pone acá. What time do you go to work? <coughs> okay, very good. A qué hora se va al trabajo? Entonces, ya eh, I'm asking for something specific. Time. Okay. It's clear, students? Clear? Yes. It's clear. Yes. I don't know if you yes. have questions. Questions? I no, don't questions. Have questions. No. I don't know. 
Yeah, okay, very good. Okay, students, here we go. We get an activity here. Yes. Okay. Okay, we have this. This is a, a really important part too. In this case, a student, did you remember that the verb be is the first, the second is the auxiliary. What is the auxiliary? ¿Cuál es el auxiliar del verbo to be? Do or does. Very good. Good job, Carla. In, in this case, in este caso, chicos, nosotros podemos formular preguntas con do y does. Porque es el auxiliar del verbo to be. No hay verbo to be acá. No hay verbo to be en ninguna de estas expresiones. Right? Pero si lo hubiese, vamos a utilizar am, are, o is, according to the subject, right? For example, what, uh, let me see, who are you? Who are you? ¿Qué es who? ¿Quién? ¿Quién? ¿Quién eres tú? ¿Quién eres tú? Cuando no conocemos a alguien. Who are you? ¿Quién eres tú? Y él nos dice, ah, yo soy tu amigo, yo soy tu familia, y so on, right? But in this case, sí tenemos verbo to be. Entonces, no vamos a utilizar auxiliary, sino que vamos a utilizar el que le corresponde al pronombre, el verbo to be am, is, o are. It's clear? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Ok, esto se los aclaro porque muchas veces vemos, bueno, ¿cuándo voy a utilizar am o when we're going to use do or does? Y ahí está la confusión. Ok, let's continue. Uh, this is the formula in order to create uh, your sentences in the simple tense. Si quieren crear oraciones en presente simple, esta es la fórmula. WH word plus the verb be or auxiliary plus pronouns plus a complement, right? Easy. Okay. Okay. May I continue? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, students. Uh, we have this. We have interrogative and short answer. Cuando nosotros preguntamos algo, muchas veces nos sentimos nervous, right? Because we don't know how to answer that question. Porque no sabemos cómo contestar esa pregunta. For example, uh, uh, Mary Murillos, do you swim? Do you swim? Um, yes, I do. Very good. This is a short answer. Yes, I do. Si usted nada, swim. Si no nada es no. No, I don't. No, I don't. Very good. Entonces, what is the key here? ¿Cuál es la clave acá? Si a usted le preguntan con do y usted identifica que es una eh, pregunta, eh, tipo present tense, usted va a contestar con do, yes or no. Si es sí, yes I do. Si no, no I don't. Ok. Ok, very good. Similar happen with does. Does he swim? Sí. For example, uh, Jocelyn Marroquín. Okay, please listen. Does, uh, let me see, does Nelly swim? Mm. Nelly, uh, do you swim? Mm, no, no, I don't. Okay, very good. You see, that's the short answer. Esas son respuestas cortas cuando no nos queremos complicar. Ah, no, no. Sí. Okay, really good. It's clear? It's clear. Yes. Yes. Okay, questions about this? No. No questions. No questions. Okay, okay. the students. Okay, we're going to practice. Uh, these questions. Okay, keep in mind, please. Vamos a practicar estas preguntas. Okay, let's see. What time do you get up? What time do you get up? 
Okay, very good. I hope this is good. Manténganlo ahí. We're going to make it in order to practice this question. Vamos a hacer grupo para practicar esta pregunta. Por favor, tomen nota. Las dos preguntas que se van a hacer son estas. What time do you get up? ¿A qué horas te levantas? Y la otra, do you get up early? Yes or no answer. Are you ready? ¿Están listos para practicarlas? Yes. Yes. Ok, students, here we go. Oh. Ok, para mi group. Ok, muy bien. Ok, here we go. Uh, you're going to have three participants per section, right? Ok, go okay. ahead. Good luck. Teacher, no las copié hoy. <laughs> ok. más. Eh, yes, I don't, creo que era, y el otro no, I don't. Yeah, good. You can see on the chat part, en el chat les puse la, las, las questions. Eh, one was, what time do you get up? The second, do you get up early? Una es, a qué horas te levantas? Van a tener la hora específico y la otra, si se levanta. Es una respuesta corta. Sí, ¿Me levanto temprano? No, no me levanto temprano. ¿Cómo así? Eh, Maggie, pregúntenme, ¿do you get up early? ¿Do you get up early? Ok. Early. Ok, very good. Como es una respuesta corta, yo le puedo contestar. Yes. Sí. Si no fuese así, dijese, no, I don't. Ok, ok, please. Practice Eliseo. Do you get I uh, early? Okay, Maggie, answer. Thank you. ¿Qué, qué tengo que decir? Perdón. Okay, Eliseo is asking a question. Eliseo le va a hacer una pregunta, usted tendría que contestar. Ah, uh, okay, está bien. Okay. Go ahead. Do you, do you watch? Yes, no me acuerdo la verdad. No, pero vaya. What time do you get up? Okay. Uh, six o'clock. Six uh, o'clock. At six o'clock, very good. Nice. Uh, the second question, Celice. Do you get up early? Do you get up early? Um, no, I don't. Very good, nice. Good job. Okay, students, continue practice. I'll be back in a Hello, students. Hello, teacher. How are you? No escuché nada, teacher. <laughs> okay, on the chat section, you can find the question, right? In la sección de chat, ahí están las dos questions que se van a preguntar. What time do you get up? And do you get up? Okay. Okay. You can practice with Nuria Lisbeth and Mary Murillas. Really good. Okay. Murillas. Murillas, yes. <laughs> okay. It's clear? 
¿Está claro lo que vamos a hacer? Sí, la, solo dícteme la segunda. Bueno, solo una tengo ahorita. Ok. Ok, that's good. Eh, do you get up early? Do you early get up? Eh, do you get up early? Sí. Uh -huh. Y la primera. Solo cinco. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. Solo sí. Solo sí. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, remember, students, that the first you going to give an information, a specific information. For example, Nuria asked me the first question. Pregúnteme la de what time. Ah, oh, okay. Um, Nuria no tiene audio, así que Mary, Mary, can you ask me the first question? Uh, what time do you get up? Okay, I get up at 4 a.m. Me levanto a las? 4. Ok, muy bien. Ustedes notan, la primera lleva un complement. The second is a yes or not answer, short answer. Yes, I do, no, I don't. La segunda es de respuesta corta. Ok. Eh, practice together. You can practice together. I'll be back in a minute. Practiquen juntos, regreso en un instante. Ok. Ok. Nosotros somos, fuimos publicistas en nuestra, nuestra época de jóvenes y ella trabajó en eso mucho tiempo. Bonito ese idioma. Sí. Y... Ok, students, you finish? Yes. 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 Yeah, yes. very good. You are a really nice group. Very good, students. Uh, if you want to practice again, you can do it. Uh, we're going to finish this section in one minute. Okay. 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 ¿Ha sabido algo ahí? Eh, con quien estoy teniendo casi, casi, no le digo todos los días, es este, con, con Verónica y con Janet, nos estamos comunicando. Ah, qué bien. Estamos hablando estamos, ahí, estamos chateando. Está en, está en el mismo sí. horario. Eh, eh, fíjese que ahí sí, no sé. Ok. Ahí sí, no. Ok. I hope. You can be able to practice together. Uh, this is a really easy exercise. Son ejercicios bastante fáciles. Así que uh, we're going to continue with this, right? Okay, here we go. Okay, student. Uh, we got this. Let me. Okay. Okay, let's see. Okay, we got um, these questions. Tenemos más questions. No pongan esa carita ya. More questions. Okay, that's good. Okay. Um, what your schedule like? ¿Qué dijimos que significaba esto? Horario. Horario. ¿Cómo es tu horario? So, in this... Itinerario. Yeah, sure. You can describe your schedule. For example, um, at 8 a.m. I study English or I don't know, something that you do during that time. Algo que ustedes hacen a esa hora. Then 
you uh, we're gonna have when do your classes end? Yeah, very good. What do you do after work? ¿Qué hace después del trabajo? Yeah, that's good. Okay, what time do you go to bed? ¿A qué hora te duermes? Uh -huh. okay. okay. If this question is missing something, what is missing? ¿Qué hace parte en esta para que sea una cuestión? El signo de interrogación. El signo de interrogación. El question mark. Question mark at the beginning or at the end. At the end. Yeah. At the end, very good. Okay, students, try to answer them. Tienen que intentar. Le pueden poner mute, que no quiero escuchar al perro, por favor. Get the microphone. Okay, that's good. Okay, let's see. Um, okay, we got this question, right? What's your schedule like? Como es horario? For example, in my case, uh, my schedule is at 8 a.m. I get up. Um, let me see. At 12 o'clock, um, I, I have lunch. And so on, right? Y puedo seguir describiendo my schedule, mi horario. Then we have when do you, when do your classes end? A qué horas? Cuando terminan tus clases? Ah, my classes end at 9 p.m. For example, right? It's an example. Okay, what do you do after work? In my case, I go to sleep, right? Okay. okay. Uh, what time do you go to bed? Um, at 10 p.m., at 9 p.m., I don't know, and something like that. Okay. Estas son simples preguntas que nosotros podemos manejar básicamente. Okay, continue with this part, students. Uh, we got the short daily routines. Teníamos la daily routine, ¿se recuerda? Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay, we got a basic daily routine. Somebody who help me to read it? Yes. Okay, go ahead, Danilo. I get up every day at 7 o'clock. Then I have a shower. After that, I have breakfast and go out to take the bus for go class. I finish my classes at 12. Then I have lunch at a university's restaurant at 2 p.m. I go to study to the library, right? Is yeah, correct? Yeah, yeah, very good. Then at 5 p.m. I go home. At home, I watch television in one hour. Then I have dinner. After that, I play at the computer. And finally, at 10 p.m., I go to sleep. Okay, very, very nice students. Really good, Danilo. I like it. Okay, let's see, student. This is a, a basically a short daily routine. What you're gonna do right now? Okay, básicamente es lo que vamos a hacer ahorita. Sí, ese era un ejemplo de una rutina diaria. Eh, you can use a uh, then or connectors or transition word. Pueden utilizar las palabras de enlace que es y entonces luego. Y si ustedes no pueden utilizarlas, háganlo con ustedes. Well, lo importante acá es to practice, right? Okay, we're going to start um, a little bit quickly, right? With uh, Saúl Ardón. Can you describe your daily routines? Ajá, uh -huh, Saúl. <laughs> No, no hizo la tarea, Saúl, ok. You look like that, right? Ok, no problem, no problem. Ok, uh, continue with uh, Eliseo Ventura. Do you have your daily routines? I get up at, at 7 o'clock. Really? Uh, uh, 
take a shower at at seven or oh, eight eighty o'clock okay very good thanks good job that that's the idea right okay we're gonna continue with jocelyn marroquin go ahead hello everybody hello. i just quit my children and i get up at 6 a.m and then take a shower i have my breakfast at at seven at seven o'clock i walk to my work walk to my work yeah um, um <laughs> i have my lungs 11 11 at noon and i'm finished my work at 5 p.m. I arrive my home. I have a diner. I watch TV and 9 p.m. No, I said, come on. <laughs> 9 p.m. I go to bed. <laughs> okay, very good. Really good job, <laughs> Jocelyn. Nice. Nice work. Okay. <laughs> Uh, let's continue with uh, Carla. Are you there? Yeah, teacher. Yeah, okay, go ahead. Okay, um, well, I get up at 7 a.m. and I water my garden before breakfast. Yeah. Then I do a lot of work at home in the morning. Very good. And then in the afternoon, I study English, and at 4 p.m., I exercise for two hours. Good. Then at 8 o'clock at night, I connect to English classes, and at 11 p.m., I go to sleep. Okay, very nice. Good job, Carla. Nice. Okay, continue with Eric. Eric? Are you there? <laughs> okay, let me see. Okay, I think Eric is not there. Let me see somebody else. Uh, Lisbeth, go ahead, Lisbeth. Okay, Lisbeth, are you there? Okay, who's ready? ¿Quién está listo, chicos? Okay, okay, go ahead, Mike. I'm going to start with Mike. Bueno. Voy, teacher. Eh, okay, okay. Uh, ¿Quién le dio la palabra? Yeah, Mike, Mike. Then okay. I go. And I get up six o'clock. Uh, next, I go to the bathroom. After that, I what? Uh, I what do? Then. I take breakfast, then I go to the market, then I buy fruits, meat, chicken, vegetables, cheese, and bread. After that, I go home to make lunch. Next, I eat, eat my lunch. Next day, a night. Then I watch TV. Uh, then I, I work dinner when i go to sleep okay very good excellent maggie really good job okay eduardo continue please okay um, i wake up uh, six and a half a.m okay and uh and i made a little pray okay and i get up seven o'clock more or less and I have a shower, and uh, then uh, I get dressed. Uh, I have a, I have the breakfast, eight o'clock, and brush my teeth. Uh, eight and a half, I read the Bible, and I go to work at night. AM on my computer and 
and a half the day for 12 o'clock, I, I get my lunch. And one o'clock, I have a online work conference and I finish work, my work at five o'clock. Okay. I, I go to rest and play, and play with my dog, Mila. Okay. And I talk to my wife. Yeah. We have a dinner, seven o'clock. And I connect the eight o'clock and I receive and receive my only English class. Very good. Then after we watch TV and we go to bed 10 o'clock and 11 on or 11 o'clock. Okay. We pray and sleep. Okay, very good. Congratulations, you did a really nice work. Good job. Okay, Saba, we're going to continue with Saba. Right? Okay, uh, my daily, daily routine is I get up at 8 a.m. and then I take a shower and brush my soap. I don't know. And I have my breakfast around 9 or 10 a.m. I clean my house and the rest of the morning and in the afternoon in the afternoon I do the lunch and then around four and five o'clock I study and around six and seven I have a break and uh, around the night I have a conversation with my husband and I watch TV. And the finish, I go to bed around 10 and 11 o'clock. Okay, very nice, really good work, Sarah. Nice. Okay, we're gonna finish with Danilo. Vamos a ir finalizando con Danilo. El resto vamos a quedar para la siguiente clase. Okay, Danilo. Okay, I get up at 6 a.m. and then I take a shower. After that, I take my breakfast. Before I take my lunch, I do many things at home. In the afternoon, I watch movies, study, and a lot of things. And okay. in the night, I take the classes at uh, night. Sorry, at 8 p.m. and I go to bed at 11 p.m. That's it. Okay, very good, Danilo, really nice work. Congratulations. Okay, students. Thanks. Uh, I really like your pronunciation, it's really good. Okay, uh, unfortunately, time is over, right? Desafortunadamente, el tiempo se nos acaba rapidísimo como ustedes. Quisiera que durase más, pero no se puede. <laughs> Así que, uh, I want to invite you, right? Les quiero invitar a que siempre visiten la plataforma, hagan los ejercicios de section number one. Eh, tantas veces como sea necesario que es para ustedes y tienen que hacerlo para que pasen el módulo también, así que eh, eh, bueno voy a aprovechar un minuto más en this class well, well in my class, en esta clase no sé si ustedes gustan podemos hacer los ejercicios pero me interesa más que practiquemos que practiquemos acá porque en, en la plataforma ustedes pueden hacerlo en durante la semana, en un tiempo libre. Y acá en la clase me gusta más que discutamos como lo hicimos en estos momentos. Si ustedes eh, les gusta así, me dicen y si no, podemos visitar más la plataforma. ¿Sí? La plataforma Eso. es para ustedes, pero lo pueden hacer durante tiempo libre para aprovechar al máximo 10 class, right? Yep. Michel, disculpe. Y, para, como para acabar, como usted dice, para ocupar más la clase, para para poder discutir más la cuestión, sería bueno que en el WhatsApp podríamos preguntarle mejor por yeah, WhatsApp. Lanzamos mejor. Sí, en WhatsApp me pueden preguntar si algo no entienden de los ejercicios, me mandan las capturas y yo digo así y allá, aquí. Right? Right. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes, okay. I agree. Okay. okay. Thank you, students. That's it for today's class. I really like Thanks to you. Okay. Bye, bye.
Bye. See you next week. Bye. 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 Bye